Good evening, pretty people. Uh, a little bit bored, so I think I'm gonna just play with my hair on camera and record it. So yeah, let's get into it. Uh, my hair is already styled. We're on day three of unwashed hair, and we've got quite a bit of dry shampoo in here, kind of saving our life today. So I am on some matte lipstick or liquid lip from Huda Beauty. And it's a little bit older, but it's super sticky. One, not a big fan of it, but it's probably because it's older. But two, is it just me or does it look like it's the exact same color as my skin? Not a fan. It is the liquid lip in the color Venus. Back when I was much paler, um, it was definitely my go-to. Uh, and it also didn't used to be this sticky, so... Probably gonna have to toss that one. I'm gonna go in and tease my hair, and we don't really know what we're gonna go in and do today. We're just gonna go in and do it. Today was my last day of class for the spring semester, you guys, and I am thrilled. I just have to complete my two final exams by Friday and I have well over a week off and I get to spend it with my son and my sister and my little niece and a surprise person who's coming from out of town to see all of us. I'm super excited about that. Um, this person went to high school with me and I kind of like him, kind of fond of him. If he's watching this, he knows I'm joking. I think I love him. All right. Probably shouldn't be putting all of this on camera, but I'm not saying his name, so that is totally fine. I could be talking about anybody, right? Anyway, the weather kind of sucks today. Didn't have quite enough time to do one of my finals because the finals are timed and they take approximately two hours and I want to allot myself as much time as possible to do them, so... Uh, and I had a doctor's appointment this morning, so I'm just kind of... Tomorrow I go to get my vaccine because I start in-person classes back in the fall and it is a mandatory thing. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to do the vaccine tomorrow and then I'm going to go and take my exam. Not go, I take it from home. Cannot multitask, you guys. All right, what shall we do today? Maybe we'll try to do like a really pretty braided updo or something. I don't know. Maybe like a. I'm just gonna go with it. Obviously, if I don't upload the video, it wasn't a success, but uh, just trust the process. Let's just go ahead and trust it. How's everybody's day? Are we all excited for summer? Are we getting ready with our summer wardrobes? Oh, that's what I wanted to tell you guys. Okay, so I'm a huge supporter of other influencers slash small business owners, whomever, and I'm sure if you've watched a single one of my videos, you've heard me talk about Shandell Clifford. She's amazing. She lives in New York, upstate New York, I believe, uh, and she's a small business owner. Her company is called Shandell & Co., and I will put it in the description box for you to go check it out, show her some love and support, but she, it's a boutique, so it's like really beautiful stylish clothing they do their own um t-shirt bleaching so if you've ever seen me wear my bleach t-shirts that is from her shop uh they're each hand bleach so although you might get the same color or same emblem on your shirt the bleach pattern is going to be completely customized because they are hand bleached which is awesome, uh, but I have 
just placed an order. I'm working on me and Christian's summer wardrobes, and I just ordered some new shorts, a couple new dresses, and some sandals, some other shirts, whatever. But it's going to be here either tomorrow or Thursday, I think it said. So maybe I'll do that as an unboxing. And I have a massive surprise for you guys. It's kind of awesome. Um, I don't really know if it's a big deal for anybody else, but it's a big deal for me and I'll tell you why. I had a company on Instagram reach out to me two days ago. The company is called Ambassador. It is a sunglass company and they promote by hiring influencers, I can't remember, influencers, I'm not an influencer, but I just, I feel like, holy crap, like, just because they even asked me, and, uh, so the, one of the promoters reached out to me, and she said, hey, I really like the look of your page, would you be interested in promoting for this company, here's their contact information, use my name, um, and so on, just uh, reach out to the to this person at the company. So I did, and they were like, yeah, we're just looking for people who, um, who have a pretty decent following and who, and this is on Instagram, not on YouTube, obviously, but who, uh, you know, carry themselves well, have a decent following, blah, blah, blah. They said, go ahead and pick out, I think they said five pairs of sunglasses max. Send them a screenshot, all that good stuff. I don't really know if I'm like allowed to be telling you guys all of this, but it's not a, like a secret that people get hired to promote for companies. So anyway, the sunglasses just shipped or will be shipping sometime today. I know that the, the label was created, like that's how excited I am. Once they come in and I start getting some people paying attention to it, I don't know if you guys saw that I did a fringe braid and then as that hair ended right behind the ear, I just kind of finished it off with a braid. Um, but anyway, once they all come in, I'm going to be taking a bunch of pictures wearing the sunglasses and then they will provide me with a discount code, a personalized discount code for anybody that wants to get the sunglasses for me to hand out to you guys. Um, they're freaking adorable. They're super cute and reasonably priced. So as soon as they come in, you guys will get to see me unbox them here. And if you check out my Instagram, you can see like photos of them and you, I, you can even go straight to their page. I'm going to leave this down, do the other side, and then maybe we'll just like pin it in the back. So yeah, two, I wouldn't say big pieces of news because one of them is just me like placing an order, but uh, I that's pretty big news. Like my goal here is to just have fun, spread some love, spread some knowledge on beauty. My goal wasn't to get famous or like make money or anything like that. Like I just like to do this because it's fun for me. Um, it's fun for me and I hope that it's fun for you guys to watch. And so it's nice when a company like that, whether they're big or small or whether it's fake or real, whatever it is, it's just nice to feel like somebody notices you, I think. That's all. I'm burning up in here, you guys. It's not even hot where I am. It's just like muggy, heavy, and we had thunderstorms all day today, and we probably will have them the rest of the week. Again, I'm just French braiding the hair and integrating the pieces on the side, like into it, a little bit at a time. The normal way that you would French braid hair 
I'm just doing it on this side here and we're gonna like loosen it up and wrap it around towards the back like we were gonna do with the other side. I'm kind of creating like a braided crown or something. And in my opinion, the more texture that you have in your hair, the longer you go between washes and the more like dry shampoo and all of that that you have in, the easier it is to not only manipulate the hair, but to get it to stay. Because the more clean my hair is, the more that braids like this will just fall right the F out and not last at all. So I like to wait until day two or three here to even think about doing a style like this. And I'm just braid the rest of it. Integrate it right in. All I did, I just realized that I had this plugged in the whole time. I'll turn off the fan but leave it turned on because I might end up using it here towards the end. But yeah, I just use the lay duo and just some of the deja vu dry shampoo really hit the back crown area good with that dry shampoo because my hair is just so greasy by this time by by day three um i'm just trying to go really long because today is tuesday I'm trying to get all my necessary adulting done before Friday because my surprise guest is coming in on Saturday. I pick him up from the airport Saturday right before work and he's such a sweetheart. He's going to get to meet Christian and my sister and everybody. I'm just excited to see him. Um, we're taking a braid, or a braid, we're taking an elastic, just like we did on the other side, and then I'll just loosen it up like I did to the other side. All right. Yeah, I feel like when you loosen up a braid, it can completely transform it from really put together or even childlike to straight up like relaxed beautiful adult uh romantic anything like that it just completely changes it and i gotta when i was young not younger but when i really started to pay attention to little details about how i would do my hair or just ways to change the outcome of it Pulling it apart like that had never even crossed my mind, which is sad. Like it took me watching other people doing their hair for me to recognize that I could do my hair like that. And then I'm gonna cr crisscross these in the back and we'll take some pins, but I'm just kind of pulling this little crown area out where we teased. And I'm going to take some bobby pins and we're gonna take them ridges side down and we're gonna just put them in there and cross them over together. I don't really mind if they show or not at this point because we're gonna do something else. Okay, they're just kind of crossed over and holding each other into place. here. I think I'm just gonna kind of twirl the rest of that little braid and pin it into place but try to be a little bit more careful about actually hiding the bobby pin. There we go. And then this little piece here hold it just <clears throat> Actually, before I go work in anymore, what I'm going to do is grab a mirror so that I can see. Yeah, 
a pretty little braided hairstyle. And this could full on be for a wedding or a party or, you know, anything. I'm not really trying to do much. If you wanted to make the braids longer, you could to be able to kind of roll them up together and turn them into a little twisted mess. Not mess, but you get what I mean. And I'm just taking that hair here and I'm kind of pinning it there so that it intentionally kind of pokes out on top of that other piece. And yeah, we did all that teasing here. So that is the back. That looks a little bit funky there, but whatever. And the rest of your hair is yours to do as you wish. I'm probably going to leave mine down like this, real messy and like boho chic kind of thing. You could straighten it. You can make it real big and curly with like the bubble wand. Um, I do not have the cooling vents on. I just have the flat iron plates on. Turn that back on. I just add a couple more little curls in here and then hit it with some hairspray and texturizing spray. But other than that, I just kind of felt like getting on here and doing my hair and I was bored telling you guys about the sunglasses situation. I'm very, very, very excited about that. Okay. We're now going to go in with our Bumble and Bumble dry spun air texturizing spray. Uh, I, there's no particular reason why I go back and forth between the wet and the aerosol. I prefer the wet over this only because this, like when you really get in and go heavy on the product and I'll show you, you almost can't like breathe for a second. But the air getting pushed with, from the aerosol into your hair gives it like a shot of volume which is awesome and it doesn't leave that wet residue but even with a wet spray texture texturizing spray it's going to dry within seconds anyway so it's really just a matter of your preference i think and how good the the product itself is and this is a big bottle so it's going to last me quite a while i got the smaller bottle a few months back and i went through it and i mean like days it's probably about like that, a little more than half, but I went through it fast. And that, this was long before I even knew what the hell lounge was. So now I'm gonna take, just for ease, uh, my, my products here. I'm running out of space, but I'm just gonna go in with my Bedhead Mini Masterpiece. And this is a Stronghold. We're likely gonna wash our hair tonight. So I'm really just playing around because uh, it really needs a wash. But yeah, that's it. Just a cute little romantic braided crown can be done for daytime, nighttime, wedding, party, do your daughter's hair super quick. Took less than 20 minutes. I was talking, taking my time, but yeah, I love you guys. I will see you soon.